they just didn't give two Fs. Wow, they just went right through the Rexthalic Mandate. I don't, I don't care. You know, don't you know that they just invaded? Yes. Don't you know that they probably don't like you? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Why are you out there? I'm a scientist. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? That's, <laughs> that's a problem. It's probably the best explanation I could ask for. Go for it, little guy. All right. Okay, well, weigh the protein out here. Oh my God, that's a good name. Man, we came up with a good one. Weigh the protein source. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Commonwealth of Totally Human. It is a bit of a triumphant day and it is a bit of a devastating day because after all, this may be the very last episode of our little anteater kingdom. If we go out over to our empire, you can see that there is a lot going on, right? Last time we left our little anteaters in place, we found them fighting against impossible odds and coming out ahead. It doesn't mean that we're going to win the war, but it definitely gives us a very keen focus on our next steps. Our next steps are really honestly to survive and to reclaim. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but we're going to see what we can. We're going to at least witness their march, and I think I will leave it in their hands more so than anything else, because quite frankly, if anyone's going to know their capabilities, it is exactly them. We've got the remainder of our fleet. This is the entirety of our fleet right here. I kind of feel like we should probably maybe meld these together. We need to come out and attack. We've currently got 6,000 military might up here from the Rockstall at Mandate. We have 6,000 military might from Cyclops out here as well. We also have a group marauding around in the back lanes out here in the DBA. And we've got our science vessels kind of out in the open. I'm kind of thinking right now, the science vessels are kind of on their own. I'm not too sure what it is that they're going to be looking at. But if we can kind of get this, I don't know if there are any projects like this, for example, debris in Islenor. But that means going out into crazy, crazy territory. So I can see why they wouldn't want to do that. Our construction ships are, honestly, we need to have every non-combat vessel fall back to, let's say, like Tazri. I think that might be the way to go. Uh, we've got our... How about this? We'll have all non-combat fleets moving to Tazri. We'll have all of our strike force, like our transports. All of them are going to converge on, let's say, Derbature. So we'll have all of them move to Derbature. We'll have 55, 59, and then we'll merge them in together. If any of them can make it out of here... That's where they need to be. You need to be here in Derbature. Furibai. And, okay. Well, they'll they'll remain where they are. Our star bases have been reduced significantly. Civilian ships like the construction ships. You're all coming back to Tazri. Soft chapeau. Fall back. Looky Lou. Over. Ignorance is bliss. Fall back. And then after that, basically all we're going to be controlling our military fleets. We need to beat out these two fleets right here. I'm seeing that there's also another fleet of 6,000. So we have at least, we're tracking about 25 to 30,000 military might coming through our former empire. So let's go ahead and gather up. We're going to, I we're going to push to Hope's End. We could draw into them, but we need to give our little anteaters a bit of a rest. They've been pretty darn hurt. So we go over to repairs, repairs, and we'll bring this forward into the bulwark. Transfer? No. Oh, never mind. We all have to kind of be together. So everyone back to Deneb. All back to Deneb. We're falling back. So we're going to go ahead and advance the speed. I, again, I'm not too sure how long this episode's going to be. Spaceport under attack. We understand. We're going to hear that a lot, right? So, hostile fleets pleasant. This is over in Jianfar. That's very far away as far as I'm concerned. Reinforcements in transit from Deneb and Tazri. That's fine. Uh, we've got intel falling. That's fine. We're maxed out on influence. Honestly, I mean, I guess we could be claiming things. But, I mean, we already technically have claim over these systems right here. I might say I'd like Cybrex Alpha as well. We're technically during wartime. Atlas, I don't think so. It's claimed by the Blessed Human State. Ooh, that's that feels kind of bad. We got to fight for them too. What else have we got? 
yeah, I think claims wise, we're kind of we're kind of where we're at. We could kind of go Idria, and we could go Natupa, and then maybe like have this be a single point of entry there, and then leave this to them. Let's go in and make those claims. And then that way, at least we're doing them before we start maneuvering all over the place, right? Our colonies themselves are, well, honestly, they're, they've they been better. I don't think we can really focus on those at the moment. Um, so let's see what we can do. So we are now in the neb. Spaceport lost. Dina the Dinobot got a negative trait. Uh, that's, that's to be expected, I suppose. Uh, we'll get our repairs. And then we're going to pull in a bulwark here. That enough? Nope, that's not it. Let's go to Deneb here. Okay. And where are our fleets? We got Centaur, which is here. And here's our main fleets. So we actually need them over together. Then they can merge and we'll get in Bulwark. Excellent. There we go. So now that's merged. We've got Strike Force Phoenix, which is. Oh, it's very far away. They're in Tazri. Ah, so they're the ones in migration. Okay, let's let them get over to Deneb first. Strike Force Phoenix over to Deneb. There we go. Hostile fleet detected. This one is Strike Force Hydra, and it is currently in. Okay, so they're coming from the west side too. It's only 2,500. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Come on, little ones. We got to regroup, consolidate, and see where we're at, right? Repairs completed on Bulwark. That's excellent. If we look at our fleet management, we'll go in and close out here. Bulwark reinforcements. So we're low on I'm kind of everything. Negative 37, negative 5. And we're actually still producing alloys. It's a very impressive industry in a time like this. So come on. Deneb. Ooh, hello. I don't know when that was the right time, but don't stop fighting, right? <laughs> don't stop fighting on any front. We're now fully repaired here. Fleet detected. Close it. Pine projects. Don't even worry about it, right? So, come on, Derbature. Phoenix is coming around. They got another 1,500 might coming to us. It might not be a bad idea to keep them to intercept Natupa, but there we go. So now if we select, we'll go into Deneb and we can merge, right? So we want Phoenix. We want them in with the big fleets. Come on over, come on over. Come on, come on. There it is, there it is. Okay, hold, hold, hold. We'll just merge everything that we can. I don't know what the command limit is yet, or if we're at it. So Bulwark now has 11.3. We've got 12, so 12.4 in Bulwark, and we've got 11.3 in Arjun. So let's see if we can't balance these out a little bit. We've got four destroyers. We've got... R44 class raiders. Those were those special advanced fleets. The frigates were sitting at... Let's actually redo these, right? Because we've got new caps. We have limited resources. We kind of need to just get balanced out. So right now... Uh, we'll pull that back. We have 59 corvettes. We have 39 corvettes. Frigates. Raiders. Four destroyers, nine destroyers. So let's bring some up. So we're going to at least have, we'll bring up one destroyer there. Now we're at five and eight. We'll bring that up. We'll come out with six right there. Six and seven. We'll bring some Corvettes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just balancing these out because everything's just transient right now. <laughs> Everything is transient. This doesn't seem too bad. Not too bad at all. So they're about 12k each, right? And then we'll actually bring down the amount that we're willing to work with. So we got 55, we got 45, got 5. And then we've got this plus the 2. We'll bring that down to 1. And then our frigates, 34. I mean, we'll make that 35. There we go. And the destroyers will bring down to what we got. So we'll pump that up. There we go. So we've got a little bit more, I guess, 
they're a little bit more of the same, right? So idol leaders out here. Who is this? Come on, Irene. So what about our troops, though? Like if we if we were to pull back, so that kind of evens these fleets out a little bit. We've got two forces, about 12,000 each. And then right here, we've got a transport fleet. They probably need to all come together. So let's go ahead and take a look at Derbiture. You probably still have a bunch working their way here. So can we combine them? Transfer. Transfer here. And this is going to be... Come on, Irene. So that's going to be our, our landing force as we need to take back some of our own systems. And let's go in and take a look at the transport fleets in progress. Aha! So where is this? They're out this way. Well, actually, maybe this is going to become on Irene. That one's a lot larger. And then they'll just be at least in control of something that we can sort of tangibly control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Arjun of Christmas passed. They're going to move up to Astrichian. We do have in Natupa. Aha, hit Amar right there. So let's actually grab Bulwark. And we'll have Bulwark move over to Krenice. So we're kind of splitting a little bit, but I think we have sufficient force. We've got double out here. Former agents to be disavowed. So that has to do with all of our, our spy networks. So let's go ahead and move. We're going to move it to fastest just so we can actually see the overarching movements. Hold. Empty and suspicious threat. Hostile Continue to ignore. Engaged. So these are our transport fleets getting wrecked right now, but we are splitting strike force still at hold. Evading hostile fleet. Excellent. Come on, little guys. Make it. Make it. So it's tricky and it's going to push to Dottenham. Come on. Spaceport lost. Come on. Come on. So we just hit Hostile Tazri. We've got a fleet coming with Cyclops into Echo. So this is, this is the rough part. Unless we've got three arms, we definitely want to control two lanes in and then converge and control one. Right now, as long as we're in Dottenham, we're in trouble. So we got to bring Bess back to Deneb immediately. If we want to fight off in Krenice, then we're in trouble there too. You can see him sweeping down into Bintu. So I actually might, since they're going down to Bintu, I might come up into Deneb again. Ugh, that's so tough. It's like a tug of war, right? Invasion out in Bling Bling the Beautiful. We failed to fend off the invaders. So our armies out there are, are destroyed. Here's Arjun. And look at that. They just keep pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. So let's go in and push in a hopes end. And I'm actually going to come over to Krenice. Spaceport under attack. I don't want to split our forces any further. Hostile station engaged. Hold. Let them swoop around. That's fine. And then we're taking Krenice back. So we just took hopes in. We just took Krenice. Okay. So now we can hopefully get all of our non-combative vessels in. We have a Marauding Force Hydra 2205. So if we connect all of these, let's go ahead and see if we can't come through. Woo. Although we have a battle group 556. Yeah, see, any any strength in any size is enough to take a system at this point. So our fleet's out here. Let's see, we got 99, 99. Yeah, we both have basically like 12, 5k. Reinforce again. Diplomatic insult. Don't even want to hear it. Fleet combat stat. First battle group. Oof. Low stockpile, volatile moats in eight months. Okay. I, I don't know why I'm worrying about that. <laughs> Hostile fleets present. This is in Jonfar. All right. And then we got fleet combat stats. That's fine. Okay. Not too much we can do about this. We need to secure the core. I'm um, honestly, if we left a blocking fleet out here, it would weaken us, but it would allow us to deal with this while putting most of our strength up here. So bulwark let's go ahead and branch off so i'm gonna go to bulwark and we're going to give away let's say 20.
There we go. Uh, Corvettes. And then we'll give away... 15 frigates. That gives us 4.7k. We're left with 7.5. So our strongest right now is Origin of Christmas Past. So we're going to go ahead and bring Bulwark back. And they're going to be kind of our flanking arm right now. They're going to come into Tazri. And the rest of us are going to stay in Krenice. Oh, hello. Look at him come. So we're going to grab Cerberus. And we're going to send Cerberus right into Salieto. Apparently they wanted to come back to strike us. Spaceport under attack. And now we are engaging. So this is excellent. If we can nip them in the bud, it's going to be awesome. Space Council 4.7k coming right in. Hang tight. Where are they? I think we might have cleared them, right? At least for now. So we'll let that play out. We got involving a society. We'll let that go. Okay. Okay. That's that's something. That's something. But we need to maintain our position in Krenis. That's that's more important. We need to abandon Salieto. We got Bulwark coming back over to Deneb. We have a nice lock right here. Cyclops. Let's come down from above into Helios. So we're Hostile coming in from both sides. Detected. Hostile fleet detected. So right now we are dealing with Oh, hello, 7, 13. They've got 13k might right here. So this is going to be a significant fight here. So let's slow that down. Come on, little guys. You know, I have no idea what to expect from you anymore. Hostile station engaged. Here they go. They're engaging the station. Station will easily get turned. Hostile fleet detected. 11k versus we're only engaging half the force. They're not engaging with everything. And that just wrecks that. But better yet, hold. Right now out here we've got military power. What are what are they doing out here? Can we engage this? Alright, they're they're reforming. They're reforming. They're coming to hit them. So they only engage with half the force instead of merging together and and striking together. Come on, little guys. That was a huge mistake for them. And so far, so good. Ghost ship Ubume. Oh, we saved the ghost ship Ubume. That's awesome. They've been a part of our empire for forever. And we're now going to push into Astrikian with our 7.5k force versus their 6k. Hang tight. Resolution has been failed. I mean, I didn't propose any. Fleet detected. And we're at resource storage full. Well, if our resource storage is full... We probably want to make sure that we can like control these a little bit. So click on amount to sell. Let's go ahead and sell off to like 3.9k. The food will sell off to 4.8. We'll maintain the consumer goods. And then alloy wise, because we're going to be needing it most critically, we'll buy that. Operative resurfaces, ignore them. Ignore them. Go. All right, push this up. Ignore. This is not the time. So 62k. 6.2. Who do we have out here? Hostile it looks like we've got detected. multiple multiple fleets in Helios, is that right? This is not a part of it. Well let's get let's get them to merge, right? Come Space together. Under attack. Hang tight. And I'd like to bring this together because it's really difficult otherwise. There we go. There we go. Pull back. We have a fleet in Wu at 2878. And we're going to go in and push into a Strickian. Helios is going to come right back and strike him. Hold. End of the Rayob Galactic Coalition. The Star Nation, formerly known as the Rayob Galactic Coalition, has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> I'm guessing there was a faction somewhere. Lost. All right, so we are finally in the same place. They've got 6.2k. They're going to try to run. We don't want them to do that. I don't know if it's going to be possible to Spaceport catch them out. Under attack. Hostile fleet engaged. There we go. 
Okay, that's a clear. And we are crossing in. It looks like we're just missing their fleet. So we'll come right back. Hostile station engaged. The mistake would be to move into Beyond Desert from here. The right thing to do is to pull back to Helios because we already control it. So we're going to go in and do that. We have a science vessel out here. I'm not too worried about it. So let's go ahead and reassess. Where are their fleets? As far as we can tell, we've hit most of them. They're kind of reforming out in their own empires. And we are holding Krenice, at least for now. We could move to Hidamar. We could get Idria. But we can't expand too far because other we, otherwise we can't control it at all, right? So... Where are the points that we can hold? We can push to Higma, we can push to Terramor, but then we're wide open here. We would need another fleet out here. So let's just go ahead and continue to reinforce while we go. Hold. Hostile Give things a moment to stabilize. Detected. So Kastan, battle group 6,500. That's not too bad. Not too bad. We repair. If we repair. I don't even know if we need to repair necessarily because every lost. single one of our fleets have been built Incoming with a regenerative hull tissue in mind. Peace offering. Blessed human state. Cease now. They want the status quo. So let's see. Defenders. We would get bling bling the beautiful. The systems, they would get 14. I don't think so. So we're going to go ahead and decline that. If that's the case, let's sweep through. This is our time. We're trying to repair. I don't think that's what we need to do. I think we need to be pushing. So we have an uncanny ability to continue to regenerate as we're pushing. I don't know if they have that. So let's try to take advantage of it. We've got a smaller force in Krenice. We're going to go ahead and push on forward. They've got attackers in Spua. Acute volatile moat deficits. Due to mismanagement and reckless expenditures, our volatile moats reserves have completely evaporated. The strategic resource is widely used in multiple fields, ranging from alloys production to military development. Replenishing our supplies is of paramount importance to ensure the economic prosperity of our empire. Reclaim moats from the underdog and eaters. We will have to overexploit our deposits, or we can live with our moats becoming more elusive. Add exhausted deposit to the underdog ant eaters, adding to the devastation. So, obviously, that's a big problem. Underdog ant eaters, they are in Echo. We could technically control it right now, right? Yeah, we still control it. Underdog ant eaters. So, what what can we do? We've got the research labs out here. We will replace this with research moats that's such a strange one i haven't been paying attention to that one <laughs> like at all unfortunately so i mean at the moment we just need any sort of amenities anything there's devastation trade value reduced it's below since devastation is below 25 percent planetary populations cannot be killed by bombardment planetary armies take half damage from bombardment we don't even have planetary armies so there is that I, I know this is probably not good, but I'm going to automate the planet through Ravelli and see what they can accomplish. I, I'm curious. If we go to features, can we clear these? Ruin districts? I see. So that's energy credits, unfortunately. And we just used a lot of them. So 5.5k. We'll sell a thousand, sell a thousand just to get more credits back. I mean, we're barely hanging in there. Hang tight. Hang tight, little people. Dottenham. So that's been taken. Where are our fleets? Oh, there we go. So we're coming on through. We kind of am taking a bit of a narrow view here. Station under attack. We're taking Beyond Design. Hostile station engaged. We've got that fleet in Yuravas. We should be taking Dottenham. Is that a no? Bulwark? Actually, I guess come back then. If Is anyone going to take Dottenham? I don't want to have a random fleet at our back or a random station at our back that isn't ours. Let's speed that along. Spaceport under attack. Take that. Hopes and hopes and 
Well, they'll fall back to intercept. And we're going to come over to Etch Shield this way. And screw it. I'm going to push push out west. They might take Etch Shield back. That'll be just not good. Oh, they're coming into Woo Woo. Jeez Louise. So we may need to converge on them. Spaceport lost. Hopefully they'll stay. I don't want them to continue to run. Come on, come on. Get in there. Hostile fleet oh, excellent, engaged. excellent, excellent. That's what we like to see. Beyond does not. And we burn them out. Excellent. That's super, super great for us. Wherever the rampaging fleets are, that's what we got to see. I wish I had a filter so I could just immediately see only hostile fleets. I'm guessing there's probably something like that here. Go to sector map mode. Look at that. I guess this is what we control, right? When activated, the sector's map mode displays the sector borders within your empire. So actually, this kind of helps out a lot because it shows what we actually sort of control, I think, right? Hostile station. Engaged. We're taking down this station right there. Awesome. So what are we going to push with? I want to push with the larger one out to the west. So Arjun of Christmas will head out to Dahlberg and then Higma. Oh, that's very nice as a pattern. And then we're going to select Bulwark and we're coming out to Hope's End like so. This is a lot easier to see. I mean, this isn't perfect. Hold. And we'll come up to Yuravas. And then we'll try to secure Spua and then sweep. We are losing credit. Back clear. Incoming Negative income. Now they keep 13 instead of 14. You guys are not getting any of it. Obviously, we've got some problems, though, because we do. We're running out of energy credits pretty rapidly. Uh, we've got 4.1k. There we go. Consumer goods. There we go. Hold. Negative 108. So is there anything that we can do here? I know in our government edicts, we're not maintaining any sort of upkeep or anything like that. So there, there's that, I suppose. It might... Okay, let's just focus on taking things back quickly. Hostile station engaged. There we go. We didn't actually stop and clear at Berehinia. How are we doing, Yuravas? Are we not clearing these? Is this the Jehetma Dominion? Why? Can we please take care of that? So we hit Hostile Spua. Fleet detected. Where? <laughs> Hostile Fleet Strike Force Manticore. They're coming out on the west. 9541. So they're going to overmatch us here. But we can fall to Tazri. I think trying to split everything and go back and forth, that's not really great. So we'll come back to Dahlberg. We've cleared Yoda Foss. We got a backfill. Blocker cleared. That's going to be on um, the Echo Auditore system. Hostile fleet engaged. Hang tight. So this is Origin of Christmas. Wipe that out. That's for Dahlberg. So we kind of need to stay close if they're going to threaten us here in Natupa. So coming back to Deneb is a little bit rough. Can we expand here our standing force? So this is Cerberus. Here's Cerberus. So if we want, we can try to bring this up. Maybe to 20. And we'll just reinforce what we can there. I'm going to trust in them. I, they're going to be completely outclassed. But I mean, at this point, we need to continue to push and reclaim. We're going to go to Gianfar. And instead of staying at Spua, I mean, it would be nice to strike back at him. Let's not do that. We're going to fall back and back clear. Uh, maybe we send little fragments everywhere and then re-merge or something. Go, go, go. Yep, they're pushing in 9,500. And we've got 4,300 or so. So maybe we take this group. We fall to Tazri. Where we actually have some defensive stations. And we'll just hang tight right there. Look at that. 
Hostile station engaged. Yeah, so they're taking Krenice. We'll see if they fly right by, if they want to go head-to-head -head with us at our uh, stronghold there. Okay, go. Spaceport under attack. This is the important one down here. So they take Krenice. Hostile station engaged. Hang tight. Diplomatic insult, don't care. Fleets in transit. Maxing out. Fleets in combat up top with Rilly and Jonfar. And let's see what happens here. They blew by on Krenice. Yep, they blew by on Krenice. So we need to hold this right here. At least we have a little more strength there than we do extended in Krenice. So how are we doing in Jonfar right now? We have Bling Bling the Beautiful hold. They're coming getting Salietto. Which really is now ours. So we'll go to Distuli and then meet on Islenor. We'll start by pushing into Islenor here. And we are just trying to maintain control of Jonfar. Actually, this is still in their control. Why is that? Is that because of the Blessed Human State? Ah, uh, so Bling Bling the Beautiful, unfortunately, is under their control. Planet occupied by the Blessed Human State. So we would actually have to send someone out to go and take it, right? So this is why we have our main transport fleets here. We'll transport and merge everything. And we are now going to, if we had to repair the fleet, rally the troops. Uh, let's go rally the troops and we'll head out to Jianfar. So we got this. Go to Jianfar there. Awesome. We're going to have to do something about Berhinia as well. Looks like Most it's just a station though. Eight. Hang tight, hang tight. Rising unemployment. Old. Hostile station. Oh, that happened so quickly. So we have a diplomatic proposal. Now they're only going to get to keep 10. Look at that. It just keeps getting smaller for them. Spaceport under Stay out deck. wide. This is actually a lot easier to see. So there we go. Cyclops is 3132. So let's come on down. We're going to get to Higma. Spaceport lost. And we'll zoom out to this. This is a lot easier to read. My God, that's a lot easier to read. Come on, get moving, get moving, get moving. I don't know where their fleet went to. There it is, there it is. In Higma, we can engage and destroy. Hostiles get rid of them. Engaged. They're going to leave. I might just cross the border and just hit them in their space and then pull back. So right now we've got... Yannick Maw. Go ahead and grab everyone here. We're actually going to push all the way to Tiramore like that. And we'll zoom out just so we can just see the, the fleets. Another battle group out here. Hostile fleet engaged. We have Strike Force Cyclops. So this is rough. This is in their territory. So they've got the home home advantage here. Spaceport under attack. Destroyed, destroyed. Keep Spaceport it moving. Lost. Hit them. So we're going to let them take this. We're not going to try and keep this piece right here. So immediately fall back. And we're going to move into John Farr. Prep for backfill. And I guess we can get... Yeah, let's let's see where we're going. There we go. Get Ziff. Hostile station engaged. That's fine. You have Manticore coming back at 9,500. We've got amassment of Charybdis and Cyclops in Miram. But, I mean, they're going to attack Fidilum. That's fine. Blocker cleared. All right, excellent. We've got Blessed Human State Hostile... F oh, no, that's a uh, construction vessel. Hang tight. John Farr. We're going to move into Berehinia and then Latirin. We're going to take Tiramore. Detected. And the one they're detecting is out here. With the Jehetma Dominion and Strike Force Gorgon. That's a huge force. Yeah, they they still have a lot of a lot of power in there. Incoming transmission. We're taking Tiramore. Hold. Now they can only get to keep eight. Negatory. Hostile station engaged. So we're going to clear Tiramore. Spaceport lost. 
Come on, little guys. You're doing a great job. <laughs> great, great job. Alright, we're gonna fall back to Hijira Skunt. Spaceport. We'll see if they strike. If this goes in... Okay, so this is a massive force right here. This is well more than enough to overpower our star base out here. And most of our fleet is way out to the north. Funny they still got these standing fleets of hostile pirates in their own territory. Um, I'm going to continue and see. I have a feeling they're going to strike. We have a group coming in on Spua as well. Let's see if they cross. If I were them, Spaceport I would. Lost. We're taking a Jetta Scant. Now they're coming through Yurvas. We've got 12k. And we're going to hope to move to Hope's End and engage. Spaceport under attack. There we go. There's the strike. They're coming in. Overwhelming force. So this we've got to see. This is critical. So let's go ahead and clear a lot of these. So we made momentary progress. High war exhaustion. I understand, little guys. This is probably the end. The following situations are brewing. Yeah, all right. So let's see what we got. Let's slow this down. Here is the assault. Here's our little guys. We are outnumbered probably three to one. Or four to one. Yeah, we might have 25% of our forces, but we do have... See, this is brutal. This is our main star hold. Come on, little guys. Hostile fleet detected. Yeah, not looking good. See, we actually don't even have a commander here. Military station lost. One point four K left. Oh, my God. They're still somehow holding at one point four K under attack. Holy moly. Wow. <laughs> this Military is... station lost. Almost everyone's going to melee with ships. They're inflicting significant casualty tolls on the enemy, but my god. Yeah, it's, it, they're whittling away, whittling away. So we can only hold out for so long. This is actually doesn't seem to be bouncing back. Let's see where we're at up top. We've got a battle group in Yorovas. We've got Islanor. We may need to come back to Deneb, sweep through if we are so lucky. Uh, we've got Strike Force Charybdis. We're going to move over to Higma. And at least that's going on simultaneously. And then we're going to return to Tazri here. That is the remainder of our force. 407 military might versus over 11k. About 12k. Plus the 6.5 from our starbase. My god. And now we've got 99 military might left. But mind you, they came in with almost like 15, 20,000, something like that. And now they're down to 10. Oh, wait. Cerberus is still out here with 1.1k. Now they're down to 600. 246. 167. And that might be it. So Cerberus is now destroyed. And now it's down to the star base, which is completely static. So it's only a moment of time before that falls. Now they have 9,000 left. 9,000 left. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this might be the end. So... I think we're going to have... Yeah, you're sweeping in. You can take them by yourself if you can make it back in time, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Uh, let's go ahead and pull our non-combatant vessels up to a Strychian. Military station lost. And we're going to fastest now. Hostile fleet. Detected. All right, we're sweeping through, sweeping Hostile through. We are too far engaged. away. 
We will accept this for now. Sta status quo peace. We are forced to put an end to this without delivering proper justice. So where do we stand now? So this is what we have. Interesting. Wow. Somehow they were able to hold on long enough to most of this. Very impressive for the little guys. And we actually got a status quo peace for the next 10 years. Yeah. So, very wild. I don't know if we're going to bounce back from this. They took all the way... They took and kept Tazri. But, oh my gosh. And Hope's End as well. God, that's horrible. <laughs> Random pox everywhere. Rovanic. Beta Kaylee is sort of... It's not ours. It's DBA. But we have some presence on Vodivayi. Uh, I don't know about this. Well, I have to hand it to our little guys. They're incredible. They did not give up. And they were even able to grind the enemy down. So right now we've got a war. Surrender. What would the status quo look like? War goals are disregarded. Both sides seize occupied claims. So we're talking about the DBA, right? We're at... We're at status quo with the blessed human state we're not status quo with the dba though right so i feel like if we're going to do anything let's try and flush out to the south dba alliance fleets out here i mean how are we going to get there i guess tiastador we have nothing connecting here you see this so we can't go through tazri to get to kranis I'm going to guess our borders are open right now. These fleets have to vacate, I assume. So let's go in and regroup our fleets in Deneb. All of our remaining Space fleets. Born life form encountered. What's that? Foreign Empire claims our system to Echo, blah, blah, blah. Salieto. And we've got all the moats. Okay, so this is critical. What is all... How do we rectify this? All penalties, clear blocker costs, recycle materials. Maintain current expenditures active. Recycle the materials. Building and district cost is increased, but we get refunds and reduce our upkeep on volatile moats or invest in them. Chemist output. Volatile moats from strategic, strategic resource gatherers. So if we went this route... You can kind of see, I mean, that's very smart, the active effect change. Kinetic weapon damage is reduced. Recycle materials. Moats upkeep minus 25%. We get 25% more. Chemist upkeep. I'm guessing recycle materials. Let's go with recycle materials. I'm not too sure how to adjust this because honestly, I haven't really understood the volatile moats very well. All penalties relating to the ongoing volatile moats shortages will be removed once we get out of this point right here. Active from 25 to 50 debris in Beyond the Zot. Well, with our only science vessel, now's a great time to actually go into automation because they can kind of reclaim some of the wreckage out here. There we go. And then construction-wise, I don't know if there's anything to automate. There we go. Old. Boosh the Bamgabosh got a negative trait. Trust capacity is dropped. I understand. I understand. I really do. Um. Well, let's, like I said, let's have all military fleets return to Deneb. Every single one. We need to regroup. Garuda. And go. Full speed. Everything. Available. And as far as claims go, let's double check the claims. There's, there, I apologize. I'm not really doing very crazy commentary. Um, there's a lot going on. So <laughs> I admit it's now started to exceed what my knowledge about the game. Well, I didn't have a lot of knowledge about the game already. I'm assuming that there's some level of weak open borders at the moment, which is going to allow us to kind of come down here and maybe wrap things up a little bit. This is all DBA. DBA is not a problem for us. So... I don't know if we need to... That's claims wall wars going on. Kiliton got Corvette production focus. All right, come on, come on, return. So we're looking for all the green ones to come back here. Wish we could turn off the neutral fleet. I don't want to track them. 
Research complete. They've got the Alexari battle Spaceborne group. Spaceborne life form encountered. Spaceborne life form. What does that even mean? Auxiliary fire control, energy nexus, improved reactor booster, wormhole trap. Oh my god. See, this is the stuff that I would have been really interested in. You know what? Doesn't mean we can't. We're, we're not, probably not going to get there, but let's do it. Why not? We'll start moving in that direction. Okay, almost everyone's coming back. What we need to do is any repairs necessary at all. We actually have a positive energy credit. That's quite frankly amazing. I don't know how that happened. Let's go to the market rebalance. There we are. Hold. And actually, I noticed this here. Volatile moats. Can we buy them? That's kind of interesting. Volat I want man, I don't even know anything about the volatile moats. This feels new to me. Exotic gases throw I guess they're new resources or something like that. I guess we'll we'll get back to that one. <laughs> Ning Ning serve the Empire and retired. Okay. Uh I'm guessing that's in our government. Nope, it's in our leaders. Well, I think they were overlooking one of our colonies. Okay, so here's our remaining military forces. And we've got a couple of stragglers here. Come on. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and take a quick look inside Denim. What are we left with? We've got two forces. Uh, we'll take Enfield and come together here. Regroup. Look at the blessed human state. Silly guys. All right, so strike force in field. We've got 12. We've got nine. Let's go ahead and reinforce bulwark. Now we've got two. That's excellent. That is excellent. I don't know if I necessarily... Let's just go ahead and clear out the extraneous fleets right here. Reinforcing is probably not a good idea right now. What are we left with? Let's bring this down to 30. Bring this down to 35. That seems more doable. Uh, we'll bring this down to 35. We'll bring this down to 50. There we go. And we'll reinforce that. That's fine. Oh, my. All right. Let that happen. So I'm going to go ahead and bring our group through and we're gonna get over to Zarkon. right now i believe in john far bling bling the beautiful is now under our control again so let's go ahead and bring our armies down south and they're gonna get over to Zarkon as well so let's go and they're gonna move together they're not gonna be in a situation where once they get here they're only assaulting with part of our legions uh we got come on irene that's they're overlooking our armies that are coming on down south this one right here with a little suitcase all right so we're just passing through the temporary open borders and we're going to come into the dba and hit them there it is zarkon is there anything to take here yep there it is so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start bombardment. If I think I think we can do that, right? So if we grab our military forces and we head over to Vuria. The orbital bombardment of Vuria or Vuriza has sparked our council to discuss how we should respond in the hypo hypothetical scenario of a surrender. Allow their surrender. I'm guessing us being here is just keeping that on lockdown. I have no idea. We've got our armies coming through, so eventually they're going to start this. There it is. There it is. There it is. I'm noticing we're at 2338 right now. So 2500 is the, the terminus of the campaign, right? So uh, we just had entry. There's our armies. We are now heading in to the planet, and we're going to land our armies. Go forth. And we're being fully supported, moving all at once. Begun. Let that happen. What do we got? 
orbital bombardment armies yeah i guess we'll just let that play out i do not want to go anywhere until that Council is done ready planetary invasion failed hold really okay invasion over we have failed i don't care about the bliss human state high war exhaustion one of our wars well i guess i guess we'll just keep bombarding him i don't know what to tell him <laughs> Maybe they'll give in. How does this even look? We've gained control via orbital bombardment. Okay, so we took it. Hold for a second. So let's just double check. There is head of research here. Planet is occupied by the Commonwealth of Total Human. Robot assembly ceased. Luxuries distributed. Mob rule. Crime is insane. Okay, understood. Right now, we have a little bit of a surplus. I mean, if you want to call it that. Traditions available. We're going to get the last one. Now we get a new Ascendancy perk. So what do we got? Defender of the Galaxy. Endgame Crisis Faction. Starbase Capacity. Diplomatic Weight. Don't care about that. Research Speed. One Vision. Monthly Unity. Mastery of Nature. Clear Blocker Cost Reduced, which will offset a little bit of the shortage of moats. Empire Size from Planets. Edict Fund. Leadership Gain. I mean, Empire Size from Planets, negative 50%. That seems great. Because right now we're getting rather large, in theory. And I guess we'll just... Maybe we'll move on now. Because in theory we have this, right? So if we were to say we want to settle on status quo... Attackers... Systems... Vuria. Okay, so it is considered under our control right now. Okay, so let's quickly sweep through as quickly as possible because I cannot imagine that our people will be able Research to sustain complete. this much longer and essentially will be forced to end, right? Spaceborne life form Hold. encountered. Leadership, life, all these new life form encounters, building slots, colony development speed, habitat, max districts. I mean, that's all helpful. Okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Incoming transmission. Hold. This is the GAD. So here's here we here we are. Status quo. Attackers. That's us. We would get to keep Vurivai, Vuriza, Beta Kali, and Zarkon. So the two. We would basically hold. Incoming transmission. Oh, I just accepted that crap. <laughs> so we kind of rounded it out. We didn't quite close it right here, but we were able to get. Zarkon finally closed that off and then they kept this right here because we were just completely exhausted. War has ended with status quo was forced. Planet has surrendered. Subjugation request. We are too weak to survive on our own. Will you protect us if we become your subject? There's no need for you to become our subject. That's sad. I don't want you to be our subject, but I will definitely protect you. Is there any other thing that we can do? Don't look at us like that. <laughs> don't look at us like that. Well, I don't want to subjugate you. Subject integration. Integration is prohibited. Expansion. Expansion is regulated. Oh, this is, this is horrible. I mean, I guess... We will protect you. This is a sad day, I have to say. I, I mean, I don't want to decline them. They come to our doorstep and say, please, please protect us. But, I mean... You, can you give us an option where we can say we will protect you and you can be your own people? I mean, believe me. So I guess let's take a moment because let's be real. The ant eaters have been fighting for their lives. We crossed many boundaries. We've also had many boundaries crossed ourselves. The big thing is right now we're just trying to survive and, and we're throwing our weight around as best we can and holding out and going beyond our means. But by no means do we want you the Kuvarians, who are basically like our kids, to be subjugated underneath us. But by for sure, we will protect your people. So I'm going to agree. But my god, that doesn't feel great now, does it? Oh boy. Um well hopefully hopefully you're okay. Let's let's pull back into our system. We're moving back to Deneb. I'm going to go in and take a look at claims. What I'd like to do is, since we're not at war with anyone right now, technically, right? I'm going to say 
So we got all these claims right now. Idria. I mean, look at this. They've stacked up strongest claimer on the Daybex Alliance in Idria. I mean, okay. Uh, we've got strongest claimers, the Daybax Alliance, with one in Natupa. Well, I don't really want Natupa. It's way out here. Can I rescind our claims on it? Oh, that's right, because I wanted to make sure that we could extend out to the only entrance point. So it's one entrance point. That makes sense. So everything we've claimed makes sense. So we will now be the strongest. Now we're the strongest. And we are the strongest. Okay, so we have high claims. Excellent. So we are the strongest claimers for all of these areas right here. Uh, let's see. So hold. Let's take a look at Human Bulwark. What about our governments? So everything has gone to crap. So features right now. How are we doing? I mean, at this point, we don't even have a leader here. <laughs> It's been a while since we've looked at how our people were doing, and it is, it's, it's quite embarrassing. Okay, so Human Bulwark, you have a commander. Arjun of Christmas Now, you have a commander. Everyone's returning to Deneb. Underdog and Eaters has Ravelli the Ravioli. We've got Brittany the Bombastic. Honestly, our interest in the galactic community, I almost feel like we should pull out of that place. <laughs> We just pull out of the... Can we pull out of the galactic community? Oh, man. Let's leave it. Are you sure you want to leave the galactic community? If you leave, you'll no longer receive benefits from any active modifiers, but will be unable to rejoin, have reduced diplomatic weight for 20 years. You will, however, also no longer be negatively affected by being in breach of any galactic laws. You know what? Screw it. Us against the world. Here we go. That's probably the worst decision I could have made, but I don't care. That's fine. You know what it does? It allows Brittany... To look over this place right low stockpile and these resources about to run out consumer goods in 12 months oh boy yeah we don't have any consumer goods do we we may have to purchase some that's that's all we got right now uh that's got to change very very quickly right so hall of judgment commercial zones Clerks produce trade value and amenities. Traders turn consumer goods into trade value. Well, I feel like instead of commercial zones, is there something that upkeep produces unity? Upkeep, upkeep, upkeep. Hmm. I mean, we're not at a deficit here in the capital. But what about other places? Energy, civilian industry. That's going to be in the, the industrial district, I believe. Administrative offices, Hall of Judgment, Polo Theaters for Amenities, Research Labs. Let's take our research labs. Honestly, I mean, at this point, getting our people to a state where they can just live a little is kind of more important, I feel. So we're going to completely replace that with a commercial zone. Uh, well, let's double check about any blockers here. We've got a lot of ruined districts out here. So we're going to repair full functionality for part of its original cost and time. So repair. This one's ru ruins. So we're going to demolish. This one is a demolish. And features. Right now we have... We're not at a deficit of consumer goods. This is a demolish on the research lab. Demolish on the research lab. All the devastation has done quite a number on us. This is bling bling. It wasn't... It's no longer beautiful. We're going to go ahead and clear out those ruined districts so they're actually useful once again. And right now, you know what? This is... Bling bling the repentant. How about that? We are bling bling the repentant at the moment, right? Uh, we can... Oops, hello. We've upgrading to a planetary capital. And that's a... Probably a pretty decent start, right? Vori Za. They're way out there. Feature wise, I mean, we'll clear the energy nexus out here. We have low food, but the food's okay in general. What if we actually work on it out here too? Synthetic crystal plants, commercial zones. I mean, they've got some really nice stuff going on. We'll get the research labs. We're going to replace you with civilian industry same here i mean the complex dear god i mean that's probably way better and then we've got 
Voriza. Because it's Vorivai and Voriza. Okay, so we've got Synthetic Crystal. We've got Commercial Zones. We'll take one of these research complexes and we're going to replace it with... Let's see, we got negative nine. Actually, you know what? Let's just let it play out a little bit, yeah? We'll let it play out a little bit. I'm actually going to turn on Planet Automation. I know that bunnies have told me Planet Automation is really pretty bad, but I'm hoping that that's going to help them to at least just, like, manage while I'm focused elsewhere. Otherwise, they're going to be doing without help here. Research Agreement Proposal... Hold. The Galactic Daybax Alliance and the Kuvarians have entered into a research agreement. Wow, man. Our, our little people are, are really doing whatever they can. Commercial pact broken. Diplomatic communication. We no longer feel the commercial agreement with us is to our advantage as of the day it is void. They've ended their commercial pact. The deal currently grants us 5.83 and then 14.47 uh, energy credits a month. Okay. That you have the right to do what you want to do. Critical resource shortage. We're experiencing critical resource shortages. This will have a profoundly negative impact on our empire until the situation is resolved. Shortage of exotic gases. I mean, <laughs> there's other things right now. Exotic gas shortage. Debris and Zarkon. Actually, are we able to... Where's our science vessels, right? They're currently automating, entering hyperlane. I mean, they're both automated, so I have faith in them. And it looks like automatic construction. Well, I mean, this is where we're at. It's not too bad. We're currently at 2340. I think that's probably a decent place right here. Let's just let that advance, Incoming stabilize, see what we got. Oh, hello. We've much to learn from one another, and now you want to enter a research agreement with us. We can learn this and share that technology. Okay, that's that's fine. If you know what the way I like to see it, the Kavarians they entered in an alliance for research with the Daybax Alliance. They're probably like, you know what, we love the little humans, and what we want to do is take as much as we can from the DBA, and then we're gonna give it to you now. So we have research agreements with both. It kind of works out for us, yeah. So I'm noticing here that there are more claims laid. I bet we are no longer the strongest claimers. Oh, no, we still are. So I don't even care then. That's fine. We got a lot of influence still building up, right? And exotic gas shortage progress 20 out of 100. Consumer goods. Well, I mean, we're we're kind of scraping the barrel here. Incoming transmission. Hold. We believe have much to offer. We suggest entering a mutually beneficial commercial pact. Okay, that's exactly what you broke with us. <laughs> okay. You know, they're learning their way too. They're trying to figure out what to do. Rising employment. This is on Vori Vorliza. Hold. So one thing that we got to do is maybe rename this because I have no idea. So this is going to be just for ease of understanding. This is the Zarkon planet. And then out here, this is the Beta Kali planet. Until we can actually unify these things. And let's pull back. So what are we looking at here? Hold. Fastest. I'm seeing negative 54, negative 37. Does this course correct at all? Blocker clear. Give it speed. Give it time. Hold. Hold. Uh, rising unemployment. A few criminals are of no concern. No, absolutely it is. Okay, so now let's revisit. Because I has heard some blockers have been cleared, right? Right now we've got negative 33 mineral, but we're, we're okay overall on little people. Uh, we've got negatives all over the place. We have nothing we can clear. Commercial zones are under progress because we're trying to write this a little bit. So that should change from negative 36 to something else. We are now in the underdog in what formerly was Echo Auditore. Feature-wise, there's nothing else to clear. We're making food. We've got this. We've got luxury residences, holo theaters. We can actually make hyper entertainment forums if we have... Oh, are these the... What is this? The, the green stuff? <laughs> Lacking the green stuffs. Uh, I'm guessing that's some kind of gas or something like that. 
yeah, I don't think we're we're not that fancy. We've got like the ghetto malls, the ghetto malls and stuff like that. Planetary capital, ruin districts. We could build more here. Oh yes. Excellent, excellent. So let's just double check here. We can build one more out here. And right now, these are those gases, huh? Food. We are short on food. Let's go in and build an agricultural. Oh, we did kind of replace some of the food producing things. <laughs> I'm looking out here. So that's a block. And we can build out eight on Beta Kaylee. Okay. Wow. A lot of stuff happened here. So they're, they're having some serious issues. So let's build. We're low on minerals now. Okay. So we'll let this go and let's see what happens. So this is negative 36 right now. If we speed along, negative 34. So it went down a little bit. That's great. Encounter in Magam. We've made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Magam system. For now, we have codenamed them Lima Bogies until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we should decipher it so we can assess how much of a threat that they pose. So, I mean, obviously, yes. Yes. Oh, interesting. They look very arthropodish. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Low stockpile consumer goods. Yes, I understand. Imminent situation. Exotic gases. We're like halfway through the imminent situation. Um, unless this, this is a good thing. Oh, finisher effect empire defaulted modifier. I see. Recycle and materials to help us, I guess. We'll go with that. Uh, we got debris, which is going to time out traces of components, small shields, and we're making first contact. All right, let's hold. It's creeping forward a little, a little bit less at a time. Negative three. We're back to negative 36, so it went up here. So let's go in and take a look at Beta Kaylee. Because we got to get this under control. It's not it here. Beta Kaylee Planet. We have 1k mineral. We want civilian industry. We could clear the blocker. It's going to cost us 500. Yeah, I don't think we have that. So we'll just hang tight for a second. Gold. Negative 25. That's looking a lot better. Looking a lot better. We're climbing a little less each time on our deficit. Negative 17. There we go. There we go. You can do this. You can do it. Space born life form encounter. Negative 15. Okay, so we're really low. We need to actually purchase some things here. So uh food. We'll sell a thousand, sell a thousand. And consumer goods we're going to buy. Oh my god. 250. There we go. Oh boy. Come on. This is like a must. We gotta correct this. 0.7. Encounter in Wenk Wart. We made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the Wenkwurt system. For now, we've codenamed them Mike Bogies so that we can find out more. If they possess a language, we should decipher it. Yes, go for it. I don't know where these places are. We should probably take a look, yeah? Cannot move for another. Busy building a spy network in the GAD. I mean, honestly, Tao. Get on over. We've got more important things, right? So where is this Wenkwurt, actually? It is way out here. Oh, what are we doing out here? <laughs> What the heck are we doing out here? My God. Why Why are we out here? Oh my God, looky Lou. Uh, <laughs> I think... I think CNS looky Lou just got bored. I did say automatic. And they're going and doing their thing. My God, good to them. I, I had no idea they'd go that far. Wow. They just didn't give two Fs. Wow, they just went right through the Rexolic mandate. I don't, I don't care. You know, don't you know that they just invaded? Yes. Don't you know that they probably don't like you? Mm-hmm. Why are you out there? I'm a scientist. Okay. Well, you know what? That's <laughs> that's a problem. It's probably the best explanation I could ask for. Go for it, little guy. All right. Okay. Well, weigh the protein out here. Oh, my God. That's a good name. Man, we came up with a good one. Weigh the protein source. <laughs> weigh the protein source. Why? That's probably the best. That's like the best news I've heard in a long time since this started. That's amazing. <laughs> Well, how are we... You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> that little guy is amazing. My goodness. Well, all right. Hold. We're slowly climbing, slowly climbing. Severe deficit. It's now 0.6. We're at negative 12. 
Okay, hang tight right here. Where are we at? Empire capital. Uh, we are unable to build more there. Features. We have more blockers. Aha! So we can actually build a little bit more here. Let's make... Oh, no, I want to build another one. More industrial districts if possible. We do have the, um, the space. Oh, see, they're doing it down there. It's just a matter of time where they're trying to finish up on the planetary capital. 205. Spaceborn life form encountered. We made first contacts. We're getting a breakthrough with a new one in the Winkworth system. We're already pushing forward with that. We've discovered a new life form in Magam, although calling it a life form may be incorrect. The entities appear to be fully automated mechanical drones built exclusively for some unknown industrial purpose. Observations will continue, but since it's likely these machines are programmed with defensive protocols, it would be prudent to tread lightly. All right, be cautious, please, sir. All right, off we go. That's slowly creeping up. I'm hoping this is going to change a little bit. Negative 11 now. Foreign Empire want to... Sure. I mean, we'll look at the claims, I guess. Are you any higher than ours? <laughs> That's the real question. Are you higher than us? Hold. Actually, we should probably double check for a second. So look at our minerals. They're looking really, really poor. So we're heading over to the market. We're just trying to course correct a little bit. Not sell this. Our food. We definitely need food. Minerals will buy like a hundred and buy like 50. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, we got a lot of alloys though. We have a lot of alloys. My God. Well, yeah, no need to reinforce anything here. Can we group that together? You know, no, don't do it. Let's think. We probably can sell some alloys, at least in this moment. And that's going to allow us to buy more things like minerals to allow us to rebuild and get us out of this problem. And then consumer goods. Thank God. Wow. Our alloys are saving us right now. So now let's go ahead and double check. There's a blocker and we can actually clear this. We'll get a little more food as well. There we go. Awesome. We have a lot that we need to build here. So their food, their industrial districts, and honestly, I mean, they need they need people. Clear blocker is going to cost 500. Sure. All right. So at least they're making progress, right? Negative 11 exotic Income gas shortages. Hold. Migration treaty proposal. I'm sorry. I cannot. I cannot allow you to do that, Kavarians. Yes. Negative six. Okay, let's turn it around slowly but surely. Life form encountered. We've discovered a new life form in Wankward. Defensive protocol, so a little bit of the same here. They're still progressing. Negative eight. Oh, it's happening. Little by little. Apparently here we can actually build something, but I mean, when we have the, you know, actual minerals and things. Come on. Negative 11, it went up. Acute exotic gas deficit. Foreign have become a foreign presence in our empire stockpile. Their continued absence is having an impact on our entire manufacturing process. The Board of Financial Advisors strongly suggests we reconsider our budget priorities to put an end to it. Reclaim gas from Zarkon planet. Add exhausted deposits. We can live with our gases being more fleeting. Add devastation to Zarkon. We don't really have a choice, do we? So now it's actually course correcting. Invest in gas refiner output. Exotic gases from strategic resource gatherers. Building and district refund. Upkeep for those things. I guess my... Okay, so hang on. Hang on. I'm guessing we can actually create these, right? So if we took like a commercial zone and replaced them, is there an exotic gas producer? We're looking for the little green wavy. See, I'm not seeing it right now. At least at first glance. Maybe they have them out in, like, Beta Kali or something. If we do a replacement. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Well, at least it's going in the different direction, right? For now. One of your planets is low stability. I'm guessing it's Sarkon. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Operative resurfaces. 
you know what? Sure. We've never done this before, but... You know, actually, I don't really care about what we know about other people right now. I'm kind situation of myopically updated. looking at the situation here. <laughs> Devastation's horrible. My god. Unemployed population consumer good upkeep plus two. Look, I mean, we can't really do too much other than to try to rebuild, right? First contact aborted. Empty and auspicious threat. Continue to ignore. Mike Bogey, Bogey has been aborted. So we've got our exotic gas shortages. Okay, so all of a sudden... Oh, boy. Ancient mining drones. Reports of the deep space drones previously encountered have been investigated closer. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. The drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile, overtures toward human vessels when approached. They may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Commonwealth of Total Human. Empire has established communications. Oh, okay. What was this? Oh, the Lima bogies out there. So one thing that I'm wondering, these exotic gases, when we're over like our current upkeep for some of these buildings, maybe they require exotic gases, right? Is there something that is requiring the exotic gases? I'm actually, I bet under expansion planner, somewhere in here, there's probably a way to look at our draw and what's drawing upon it more quickly. If we mouse over culture workers turn consumer goods, we were making alloys. I mean, honestly, they're doing a great job. We're at plus 60. We can probably maybe even re like replace one of these with something else. We can do something that doesn't require exotic gases. I guess we could probably shrink some of our defensive platforms. I mean, what what are we even using? We'll have to take a closer look at this, right? Art, we've got our shipyards, part of the little people. Defenses are, I mean, that's in Deneb, so I don't know if we need it necessarily. They probably all have upkeep as well. So if we were to disband these... That'll reduce our upkeep. This is this is how bad it's getting, right? Beta Kaylee. Haha, this is our now. I mean, we're basically defenseless on that. And we got our armies here. I may have to land armies elsewhere. I don't know. I mean, if we zoom out, this is where we're at. So, you know what? That's probably a good enough place to wrap up for now. But my gosh, I thought we might be at the very end of it all. It's not looking great. I mean, if you look at our current resource trajectory, it is plummeting, but somehow we're still around. And as time ticks forward, actually, it's a good point. As time ticks forward, I'm assuming that these truces are going to falter, right? So if we were to go to diplomacy with the Blessed Human State and say we'd like to declare war, we can't do it till 2345. That's literally two in-game years from now. I almost guarantee they're going to come right back. So... It is a time of war, it is a time of reclamation, and this is the Commonwealth of Totally Human. This has been pretty rough, but I'm very, very proud of the little anteaters. You gotta pause and think, these little guys have done an incredible job, despite all of the adversity that obviously we have created, and also what has kind of come to our doorstep, and also just kind of just how the universe and galaxy has formed. So if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, share, or comment down below. It helps us a great deal. You know, despite it all, I had a total blast, and I hope you did as well. And I can't wait to get into the next one with you. Have a wonderful night.